Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian with Submens Comics. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about a company that specializes in pressing and cleaning comic books. That's right, if you're a comic book collector, you might be aware of this process. If you're new to this, a lot of people send comic books in. They press it to help get some of the imperfections out of it and they help clean it before they submit it for grading so they can get the best grade possible from a third party grader such as CBCS or CGC. But the company I wanna to talk to you about you might have seen bumpers on a few of these videos recently, and we're talking about popculturezone.com. Owned by a great guy named Rob Leewitz. He has a great pressing and cleaning service. He's pressed and cleaned over 8,000 books. He has a very, very affordable price, and I highly recommend him. I recently sent some books to be cleaned and pressed by him, and I absolutely love the results. Now, these books I knew had some defects that were unpressable, but either way, I wanted to send them in, bump the grade up, because these are books that I was thinking about sending in to be graded. The first one I got here is a G.I. Joe number 14. This is that first appearance of Destro. Awesome job. There was a bunch of uh, creases on here, uh, some waviness, and it kind of had that old 80s dingy feel to it, so he cleaned that up, and it's nice and vibrant right now. Uh, but yeah, got some of those creases out. Now, if you have color breaking creases, those can't be pressed out. Some of these books I sent in did have a couple color breaking creases or a slight tear in them. I was aware of that, but I wanted to get some of the other imperfections out. This one looks great. Another one I sent was this Eternals number two. This one I have some before and after pics I'll put up on the screen right now. And there was a slight tear in here that I actually completely overlooked. He let me know that's one thing he will do is be in contact with you throughout the process and let you know hey, this, I noticed this on the book, are you aware of this? And you can say, yes, please continue, or my bad, I overlooked that. I overlooked it, but I still wanted it because I still like this book. And then of course we had Eternals number one. This was like probably fine condition at best. Um, there was some unpressable creases up at the top, but either way, this book's super hot right now. So I wanted it in the best condition possible in case I want to sell this, get it graded or whatsoever. Then we also sent them an Eternals number seven, did a phenomenal job on this. And then I sent in a Red Sonja number one. He did a great job on this one. This one had a bunch of uh, non-color breaking creases on this, had some waviness, had some indentions on the back as well. He got all that cleaned out and I couldn't be more happier with this. Now I wanted to send some copper and some Bronze Age books into them because we always send modern age books I understand that some of those, like I said before, have defects that you can't get out, but I love improving the grade, even if it's not getting that to that 9.8 level. A lot of people concentrate on that 9.8 so much that I think just increasing the condition of a book is worth it, especially with the prices he charges. Very affordable prices, like I said before. But I also not want to just show you the books, but I want to show you his website so it's easy for you to navigate see the services he offers. So let's head over there right now. So here we are, we're at the website popculturezone.com. I will let you know that this website is currently going through an overhaul. They are gonna have a new look. It will play more user-friendly and mobile right now. They do recommend going through the regular desktop version rather than mobile, but that will be fixed here shortly. On the left-hand side, you'll see the menu. They have comic book pressing and cleaning, and then they have an information tab. You can click the information box right there, and it breaks it all down for you. All their cleaning and pressing service, uh, they've done over 8,000 books, one to three day turnaround time. They do have a minimum 10 comics pressed. You may mix and match services to get to that minimum, or you may send more as well. And then it breaks down the pricing structure for you for pressing, dry cleaning, turnaround, 24 hour turnaround time, 48 hour turnaround time. Plus, it does offer an email address that you can send questions or request more information from as well. And then if you go back up to the top, we went over information, then they have instructions. If you click on the instructions tab, it breaks down how to ship it. Um, an email address again to let them know that, hey, that you're shipping it and the tracking number that you're sending. And then it asks you to, how to pack it carefully. It advises you to stay away from sending comics that are weak at the staple or very brittle. And then it also offers the shipping address. It does provide information on how they'll ship the books back to you. And again, their email address in case you have questions or require more information. Also, in addition to cleaning pressing, they do offer comics, statues, toys, all that you would expect from a great comic and pop culture store. It's all on this website at popculturezone.com. So there's the website, guys. If you have any questions, make sure you use that email address, popculturezone at AOL.com. He gets back to you super quick. Likes communication is top notch throughout the whole process from shipping to the service to him shipping back to you. 
Can't say enough great things about Rob at popculturezone.com. And like I said, he is in the process of revamping that website. So once it gets done, once it gets overhauled, I'm sure the look will be amazing. And you'll be able to view it better on mobile devices. For the time being, definitely stress using the desktop version or emailing him at popculturezone at AOL.com for any questions, any information. He gets back to you super quick, like I've said before. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video is I often get asked questions like, hey, I have this book. I want to get it pressed and graded. I also wanted to make this video because I often get asked that question. Hey, I just picked this comic book up. I want to get pressed and graded. Do you recommend anyone? I always send them to Rob at popculturezone.com because I like his service. Great guy, small business owner, and just does a phenomenal job. And like I said, that communication's key. I've done stuff before where you send stuff out and you don't know what's going on with it, when it's gonna be done, when it's gonna be completed, when you're getting it back. Rob's not like that. He gets back to you, lets you know when your books are in service, when your books are being worked on, and when they're being shipped out to you. And we'll answer any questions in between. So there it is, guys. Popculturezone.com for all your cleaning and pressing needs. Highly recommend them. And I hope you guys check them out.